welcome welcome to a new video thank you so much for clicking on this video i am so excited to finally be doing this declutter this really needed to happen because it was just too much i don't i rarely use makeup i i literally only have brow gel and mascara and i tight line that's literally it but a disclaimer as in every decluttering video 99 percent of the products i bought with my own money the other one percent i got as a gift um like birthdays christmas or at my job i work at ulta so we do get free gratis i need to get rid of the clutter it's also spring springtime spring cleaning so let's just hop right into it okay so i'm gonna start off this declutter with my first drawer everyday kind of essentials drawer i don't know it's kind of a random drawer this is um, a new deodorant that is one of my favorites so obviously i'm keeping this this one is empty these are the natural deodorants that i am throwing away because they're used up and they don't work on me anymore so i'm throwing these away and i'm gonna be adding in my new deodorants that i just bought this is my sunglasses and my regular glasses case so obviously i'm keeping those i'm not gonna touch these back here these are my extra contacts this is a travel size dry shampoo it's almost done and i'm gonna finish it up soon so i'm keeping this these two are regular size dry shampoo um, i use dry shampoo all the time so and this is my nail section i'm not getting rid of anything here because that's the only thing i have and i use those but whenever i do my nails i do use all of those things so next we're gonna move on to this disaster that is truly the declutter portion of this drawer so right off the bat i am gonna be keeping this i absolutely love this this is so hydrating essence the lip care booster lip serum i also love the laneige lip sleeping mask this is a fairly recent purchase. This is the Coco Kind My Matcha. It's a all over moisture stick, but I use this as a chapstick. You can use this under your eyes and dry areas on your face as a chapstick. Yeah, it's basically like an on the go hydrator stick, which I really enjoy. This used to be my favorite chapstick, not anymore. The taste kind of disgusts me these two used to also be my favorite vaseline but now i just use regular vaseline if i want some this is literally vaseline i just put in this small container so it's just easier to grab my job gave this to us a while ago i'm gonna keep this i like this as a hand lotion it has um spf 30. Okay, these are the la girl lip oils that i got at dollar tree a while ago I'm gonna throw these out. There was a period where my lips were so severely dry. They were like white and chapped. And I think this was the culprit. So I'm gonna declutter these. Oh, I've got another one. These two are the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oils. These are really good. These are really hydrating. I really love these. Oh, um hold on wait you see that that is not supposed to be like that okay yeah no i'm not taking any chances um, i'm keeping this one. Oh, this one was from birthday gift this is like a nars sheer chapstick it was all right it wasn't really hydrating um nothing special so i'm gonna declutter this this is old oh this is another vaseline i'm gonna declutter this one as well oh, this is the milk kush lip balm I think it's tinted yeah i this is kind of i mean this is not new i don't want to say this is new but i haven't tried it yet probably only once and i don't really remember i don't really remember if i liked it or not so i'm gonna keep it and see how it goes i like this lip gloss but it's really old so i'm gonna get rid of it these three chapsticks aren't really hydrating if you have makeup on this gets rid of the excess oil you just rub it like this and it gets rid of the shine it's pretty cool i don't know why this is here but yeah i'm obviously keeping this if you wonder where i got these containers i got these a while ago from target i don't know if target still has these wow 
wow this looks really nice oh my god i love how there's only like six products in there these that i'm getting rid of love it i forgot this <laughs> the next drawer is my eye makeup most of my eye makeup like mascaras eyeliners brow stuff as well some sponges and i have my primers back here as well as um eyeshadow primers it's kind of a bunch of random things but i go in this drawer every single day um because i wear mascara and eyeliner and brow gel almost every single day so right off the bat i'm keeping these four items the etude house brush liner and nyx retractable eyeliner in black the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara, it's in the waterproof version, and the NYX Brow Glue. And I'm actually going to throw this one away because it's like basically finished. I'm going to get rid of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara in waterproof. I wasn't a big fan of this one. I don't like uh, plastic bristles. I prefer the other ones. I'm going to get rid of the NARS Climax Mascara. Um, it's old, it's already dried out. But this is the kind of mascaras that I like, these bristles. The Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. I like this because it is really small and is fine and I like to use this on my lower lashes. The number one full 360 waterproof mascara. This is in the shade Brown Black. I actually really like this mascara. I never really reach for this because it's brown and I only use black. I'm going to buy the black version of this. The Benefit Their Real Extreme Position Liner. This is actually one of my favorite eyeliners. So fine and precise size i love it the lash paradise waterproof mascara everyone loved this when it came out it was actually too clumpy in my opinion this is actually really old um so i'm gonna throw, i need to throw this out <laughs> chanel le volume revolution this is relatively new i haven't really tried this out so i'm gonna keep this okay, nyx lift and snatch brow tint pen this is really old so i'm gonna throw this out it's the l'oreal grip felt tip eyeliner i really like this however i noticed it dried really fast because it is felt tip so i mean it doesn't work anymore i have the juvia's place i sculpt eye shade brow pencil in the shade ebony but i don't really um fill in my eyebrows anymore but i'm just gonna keep this one just in case something happens if i wax off my tail of my eyebrow or you know an accident so i always keep a brow pencil just in case oh the kvd tattoo pencil liner in the shade i don't really know how to pronounce that and it's really oh okay Wow, this is broken. Well, I wasn't going to keep this anyway. The Stila Matte Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I'm on this last limb. It's not as pigmented as it used to, so I'm decluttering this. This was my tried and true. This is when I first started using Brow Gel, the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Obviously, it's like finished. I don't know why I still have this, so throw it away. The Essence Super Position Eyeliner. I don't know why I don't use it more often, but I like this. It's actually really precise lawn comb ultra precise waterproof eyeliner i thought it wasn't pigmented okay yeah i'm definitely keeping this the winky lux unibrow this is a brow pencil oh yeah that's dried makes epic wear waterproof and white this is the old formula i think oh it's kind of gloopy and chunky i don't really like that elf waterproof length and volume mascara well, this one was okay i think the mascara wand is a little too small for me so i'm probably gonna give this away or something this is the rem beauty eyeliner in black it is very black but i don't like how it's shiny it doesn't dry down matte this is a brown tattoo liner from kat von d uh it's like not really pigmented oh i have another juvia's place Oh, this is fin is this finished? I had two? An ebony? Okay, I'm gonna give one of them to my sister then. The LA Girl Gel Eyeliner in black. Honestly, it's a hassle sharpening this and the wood part scratches my eyeball and that is not okay, so I'm gonna throw this out. This is a Lancome Coal Liner. Yeah, no, it's dried out. This is the Maybelline Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. The issue with these things is that there's a lot of pigment at the base, but at the tip, if you want to flick it, it's not really that much unless you like really press down. This is relatively new, so I'm going to give this another try and see how I like it. Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Really no pigment. I'm going to get rid of this. This is also old. Wow, this is really disgusting. Oh my god. NYX Epic Smoke Liner in the shade Navy Heat. Creamy Liners. 
and you can smoke it out with the brush. But at the same time, look how it low-key disappears. I don't know if I like that. I usually use colored eyeliner on my lower lashes for a pop of color. So I'm just going to keep this Essence Kajal Pencil. Yeah, it's dried out. Elf Brow Lift. I'm keeping this. This is relatively... Yeah, this is very brand new. <laughs> oh, this is brand new. I just been putting stuff in my drawers and I don't realize I have it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Grip precision tip liner in the shade blue obviously i'm keeping this as brand new and i have the elf putty blush in the shade bahamas i'm also keeping this brand new okay now i'm gonna go into this section which honestly i think i might get rid of a lot of stuff in here because this is the eyeliners and mascaras that i it's basically like my overstock and i never really use this so i'm getting rid of this number seven lash tastic mascara the benefit their real magnet mascara the l'oreal voluminous original mascara in the shade blue this is super old i don't even know why i still have this la a hypnose mascara i'm gonna give it to my sister chanel brow gel yeah i'm keeping this better than sex mascara i only kept this for the packaging I give the mascara to my sister and show how she likes it because i literally only tried this mascara once and i didn't like the formula i'm also gonna get rid of this hourglass caution mascara the absolute lashes mascara this is actually the dupe of the benefit magnetic one look it's hilarious yeah, I didn't like both of them. I obviously didn't like the original, so I didn't really like this one. Okay, so I have more eyeliners. Actually, this is a lash glue liner. I'm gonna throw this out because this is super old and I don't wear lashes anymore. This is a brand new LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner. I'm keeping this. The Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eyeliner in white. I hardly use white eyeliner, but it does come in handy whenever I'm feeling it, so I'm gonna keep this. I have two Urban Decay eyeliners, one in the shade Rockstar and the other Torch. I'm going to give the purple one to my sister and I'm going to keep Torch. I really love this color on me. Freckle Tint by Lottie. I literally never use this and it's extremely old. Sorry if you can hear my dog. I'm throwing this out. It's super old. The No Budge Retractable Liner from e.l.f. in the shade Navy. I'm going to throw this out and this is super old anyway. I got this out like tj maxx forever ago and of course a sharpener i'm gonna keep i have this brush cleaner it's like you put your fingers and then you kind of wash like that i'll just keep that back there yeah i'm getting rid of these two because these are much older and i have a bunch of new sponges that i bought recently okay here is where i keep my sharpener although this is like a pencil sharpener so i don't know why this is here and i keep my disposable mascara wands these are really gross and old i need to throw these away again i don't wear lashes anymore so i'm gonna throw this out really this was my holy grail the nyx proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer i think they discontinued it because i don't see it anymore and this is super old so i really should throw this out i actually recently bought this urban decay eyeshadow primer um because i knew the other one was expired so this is the only eyeshadow primer i have in the back here i just have my primers i'm gonna keep this bobby brown it's brand new and i love it it's very moisturizing like it says it's a moisturizer and primer and i really love that i'm gonna get rid of this peach and lily skin shield blurring primer it's old and i don't really see that it blurs anything to be honest i'm also gonna get rid of this smashbox revitalized primer essence spray i really did like this but it just i don't use sprays anymore like that i have the elf do primer and it truly is the best primer in my opinion like a really good gripping hydrating primer i'm definitely keeping this the smashbox primerizer hydrating primer i really love this i really recommend for all skin types i have oily skin and this really hydrated my skin since i have the bobby brown and this is ginormous i don't need this so. wow so i got rid of this whole section honestly good for me but next we're gonna go into my complexion products so honestly my complexion products are my most favorite products to buy as you can see it's kind of on the verge of overflowing let's start with foundations that i have right here um right off the bat the nars velvet matte skin tint is gonna be a no for me because the other day i was like oh i want to 
excited to try this out. It came out clumpy, goopy, oily. It was a hot mess. This is one of my favorite skin tints, the L'Oreal True Match in the shade 1.5 to 2. Absolutely love this. Also, one of my holy grails, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 5. The Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Foundation in the shade 150. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. Some days it looks very cakey and kind of patchy and other days, which was only once that it looked good. I don't know, I'm kind of iffy on this. This is one of my first foundations. Someone tell me how this matches me because this is really dark. Look, this is definitely separated. This is very, very expired, but I held on to it for sentimental value. I'm tired of it wasting space, so goodbye. Okay, I feel like I'm the only one who absolutely did not like this at all. Thank God I got the sample size. Oh, Super Stay Foundation. This was my absolute favorite until they changed the formula to active wear. This is too drying on my skin and I have oily skin. So that kind of says a lot. The Fenty Beauty Ease Drop in the shade 2. I'm gonna try this again and see how it goes. Okay, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I really like this. However, this is brand new. I only use it once, so I would like to try this a few more times. There are like different shades of foundations. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of these two and keep the one that says heart so this is a sample of the ambient hourglass foundation obviously in the shade three and i actually really like this and it's pretty similar to the armani foundation okay next we have concealers i'm getting rid of two of my la girl pro concealers these are really old and it's time to say goodbye nyx bear with me concealer serum i really love the formula color is a bit well, not a bit, very off. So if I was to miss it, I would repurchase a different shade anyway, so. I'm also getting rid of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I am not a full coverage kind of girl like I used to be in high school. And look how gross this is. Very much separating and expired. Into the trash it goes. Urban Decay Stain Naked Correcting Concealer. See, I don't really remember if I like this or not. So I'm gonna keep this because I think this is new. Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. Okay, so this is like my third time trying out the Tarte Concealer and I still hate it. Too thick for me. My under eyes have a lot of fine lines and it settles into them and it's super high coverage. Maybe I just don't know how to use this, but I am not a fan. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is very old, very expired. I kept this out of sentimental value because this was my first high-end concealer that i bought myself but it's time to go the clinique even better concealer in the lightest shade which is flax i absolutely love this it's just so nice and i love how small this dofa is because like i said i'm not a full coverage person so i only use a little bit of concealer i highly recommend it oh only keeping two concealers i love that for me next we have powders this is the charlotte tilbury powder it doesn't really do what a lot of people are saying it's doing i much prefer the nyx can't stop won't stop powder it is amazing obviously keeping this next i have my laura mercier loose setting powder as you can tell it is like basically empty i'm gonna finish this up wow i'm actually proud of myself if i recommend a powder i recommend this one for my oily girls and i think dry skin i don't think it's too drying but this is the flower setting powder from beauty bakery and i prefer this one so much better than laura mercier and i was such a stand for this powder i'm keeping these nothing really much has changed in the powder section but I really stick to what I love. I have this foundation right here. This is from Estee Lauder, the double wear foundation. This is brand new. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's brand new. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna keep this, see how it goes. So here I have my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. First up, I have the Physician's Formula Matte Bronzer in the shade Light. I'm gonna keep this. This is the OG Butter Bronzer. I'm getting rid of this expired and i don't like that it's kind of orangey on me actually so ooh, i'm keeping this this is the spectrum x disney cinderella this is the most beautiful thing oh can you even see oh it's the slipper 
oh my god it's so beautiful blush is actually very pigmented and it's a shimmery blush it's absolutely gorgeous gotta keep it so this is where the collector in me really keeps the packaging really keeps stuff like this that i love i love cinderella she's my favorite disney princess as well as this well it's not a princess but it's giraffe the giraffe packaging i absolutely love giraffes if you haven't seen my previous videos you can see there's a bunch of giraffes in my room ColourPop pressed powder blush yeah this is not a blush on me i like to mix this with a blush and kind of diffuse the blush into my bronzer of course i bought every single thing in this collection this is a concealer from rem beauty I think I only used this once and that was in a YouTube video. However, this looks extremely yellow on me. I'm gonna try it out one or two times, see how I like it. This is the sponge that goes with it. Only highlighter I have, ColourPop Lunch Money. Very old, very expired. Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber. I don't really use cream contour sticks or bronzers, but this is the only one I have and I think it's good for a no makeup makeup type of day the wet and wild color icon apricot in the middle finally time to say goodbye to this i used to use this this is the only blush i used when i was younger i was never into blush until i found this one and i absolutely loved the orange tones in this blush i'm gonna get rid of this one the kylie um kitten baby blush i only got this because it was on sale and um, the color is pretty, but it is old and expired. I have the ColourPop, another blush. Wow, I did not have this many blushes. It's too cool for school. I really love this color. It's beautiful. However, I never reach for it. So I'm going to declutter this. The e.l.f. Putty Blush, Turks and Caicos, I think. I do like it for no makeup days i just bought the more orangey tone so i'm gonna put this in here but. the fenty beauty bronzer in the shade private island i really like this bronzer i've used it several times without foundation and it blends seamlessly into the skin which is pretty awesome this is my lip section which i'm gonna be real honest and say that i want to throw everything out because i literally never put anything on my lips and the only thing i use like frequently if i have makeup on is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain in the shade Sugar Snap. This is my all-time favorite. Amazing. I love it. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I feel like this is like the chapstick dupe to the Black Honey from Clinique. Oh, this is brand new. All May in red. I think this is the only... Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I like that red. Yep. The new lip liner called Sugar and Spice from LA Girl. Keeping this as well as this lip liner it's a red one to go with the red lipstick and of course i'm keeping these this one's from the giraffe collection they're just lippy sticks and like different nude and brown shades i'm also keeping the fenty lip glosses i lied i'm gonna get rid of the gloss because this is extremely old and i'd rather just buy a new one if i truly liked it all of this i'm just gonna declutter because i literally oh wait no this is a tint a tinted lip balm i actually really like this i keep going back to these lipsticks i have to keep this one this is the most perfect orangey red i have ever seen i'm keeping this even though i think this is very much discontinued here i have this soap i was gonna try the soap brow thing but i never did it so i'm gonna put this on my bath section I have, I think it's a cute powder brush for on the go from Anastasia. So I feel like this drawer is going to be the most difficult one to declutter for me because as you can see almost everything in here are single eyeshadows from ColourPop. I'm gonna be really honest and say that I never wear eyeshadow anymore. I used to all the time, now I don't and look how brand new these are. So I'm throwing all the lashes away. I hate lashes. I used to use them all the time. I ripped my eyelashes out. I'm never using them again. These e.l.f no budge cream eyeshadow i'm gonna give this to my mom she uses dark brown eyeshadow so i'm gonna give this to my mom and i'm gonna keep this okay these are iridescent glitters i'm gonna give this away 
and this is the glue that comes with it this is just like this was for makeup editorial looks i'm gonna find a different place for these oh no budge eyeshadow stick i really love this color cool beans is a matte brown out of sight okay i'm gonna get rid of this stila glitter shadow and the rem beauty cream eyeshadow and look how full coverage this is but i never use cream eyeshadow like like this so what's the point in keeping it the beauty bento that's what it is i don't really use this this is really good for traveling though not gonna lie no i'm gonna get rid of them i'm gonna get rid of them I'm also gonna get rid of this. Like I said, I don't like glitter. Morphe 2, what is this? Wow, this is kind of new. Jelly Shimmer, this is really pretty. But do I use it? No, no. The giraffe collection, of course. Keeping NARS, what is this? Oh, this is so beautiful. I just realized it's magnetic. What? Yeah, I'm keeping this, okay? I can't get rid of these things. I can't. You know what? I'm gonna have to start forcing myself to get back into makeup to use these. Oh, look, it's broken. Wow. To get back into makeup. Wow, this is really sad. Oh no. These applicators are really nice and easy for single eyeshadows. Again, the collector in me came out when I made this purchase, as you can see here and here and now here these are all the heart blushes i know they recently came out with like new shades and highlighters and stuff but these are all the original blushes when i tell you i'm obsessed and i have used every single one of these i'm truly obsessed and i'm keeping all of them of course i'm not gonna keep it like this this looks ugly for now let's move on oh So this is my eyeshadow drawer. As you can see, this is the Cinderella brush set packaging that I do not want to get rid of. <sighs> but I think I'm going to have to, or at least put this somewhere, take out the brushes and keep the box somewhere else. Elf eye tapes to line and define the eyeshadow or eyeliner. This is amazing. This is an eyeshadow brush cleaner. This is looking kind of dingy i'm gonna keep it for now until i buy a new one cream contour palette by elf i only used to use the darker shades to create faux freckles i'm debating if i want to keep it or not fenty beauty trophy wife i'm keeping this even if i never use it can you tell i just realized how much i love fenty i love fenty who doesn't i used to love this one it was great for traveling but I have so many smaller, I have newer smaller palettes that I just use more than this. The ColourPop, I don't know how to say these words, Grandeur, Bar, Baroque, Baroque, no, I'm not even going to try. Absolutely stunning, cool tones. And warmer tones. Stunning, beautiful, yes. The Naked Eyeshadow Palette, great for traveling. And this has warm tones, I think. It's always brand new oh my god wait i'm gonna give it to someone of course wow child by ColourPop, the giraffe collection let me show you how rich and chocolatey these warm tones are so stunning it truly captured the essence of a giraffe like oh my god the elf what is this acai you I really love this. This is so cute. I'm gonna keep it. Oh my god, this is going very poorly. These are all of my Essence shadows. Collector in me once again. I love them. They're so cute. Great for on the go. Colorful nudes. Perfect. The Violets by Juvia's Place. This was one of my first colorful eyeshadow palettes. Very expired, so I'm gonna get rid of this. As you can see, Cinderella these eyeshadow quads are the most gorgeous quads i have ever seen stunning oh my god i don't even want to use them you know what i'm gonna get rid of the elf look how similar they are i'm gonna get rid of the elf and keep this one obviously oh if you want to know which one this is this is the countdown to midnight palette the blue one and this one is the magic happens oh my god ah 
these colors are so beautiful so beautiful and the packaging stunning absolutely stunning i love it when i got this package i was unbelievably happy it's kind of crazy how makeup can do that <laughs> back here i have these revolution hydra liners i kept convincing myself they were good but they're not unfortunately no these are my anastasia palettes subculture oh my gosh wow 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 nothing happened the modern renaissance soft glam and subculture i actually really love subculture and a lot of people didn't but i really love it okay these are the color pop can you tell i also love color pop jeez <laughs> so affordable and the formula is so good for the price they had a sale on the mega palettes so you know i had to get them they're great for makeup artists and they're great for doing editorial makeup because it's so easy to have every all the colors in one palette stone cold yeah play it jewel so beautiful it's a mood wow this is so beautiful oh my god i forget how beautiful these palettes are sometimes you're golden wow this shade is absolutely stunning wow so yeah keeping those of course i have the amazing tati beauty palette i'm never throwing this away i remember getting this in the mail and i was so happy this truly is so pigmented the formula is amazing and i'm so sad she had to shut down her brand i hope she comes back with another brand of makeup the fruity pebbles collection i'm gonna be real honest and say i only have this for the packaging because this is my favorite cereal i'm keeping it for aesthetic or the nostalgia of it all i feel like my eyeshadow products really is all about the nostalgia for me so to organize my makeup i'm gonna be using these ikea organizers that i bought hopefully these are enough i don't like these silicone like rubbery ones that i got from target they do the job but i don't like how i don't know i'm just not a fan and i like to like change things up so i'm gonna quickly rearrange everything and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys the final result way nicer and neater but this one i separated and i added my blushes and bronzers up here since i had the space and i combined all my eyeliners into one since i don't use eyeliner that much anymore and my brow gels here because i use them every day okay here i try to fit as much as i could i put the giraffe collection here because there was an the only place to put it was back there because i wanted to use as much space as possible i rarely reach into this drawer anyway so i'm not too mad about this and i am so happy because what do you see nothing exactly i have one drawer to spare i need to clean the rest of these drawers maybe in a different video um so yeah i could finally organize and i need to buy those ikea dividers i actually really do like them i'm definitely gonna purchase more of those well i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i feel so great i feel like all this weight of so much makeup and so much stuff um, that was cluttering my drawers is now gone, finally. I hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!